good day friends it is me hl mod tech and i am back with another awesome video so let's get cracking and friends today i'm gonna take one of my projects and i'm gonna put it to good use i do not want to wreck the original so i'm going to hit duplicate so what we have here is a sphere with angled holes i am going to ungroup it to show you what it looked like when we were building I'm also going to click on settings and I'm going to bring back my grid and I'm going to set the color back to white. I think that's better for building. I'm going to ungroup one more time so you can see how this works. So what we have is a half sphere. We cut it out so that it was hollow inside and then we added these holes at angles. Well I'm going to make this into a cat toy that prints in place. So I'm gonna name it cat toy and pip. Now I want the holes to be larger. So I'm just gonna grab these two pieces. Notice it says three shapes, so let's select smaller. There we go, two shapes and I'm gonna hide them and I'm gonna delete these. Let's do show all. Hide this for a second and I want the walls to be thicker. So right here I did 48. I'm going to shift squeeze and I'm gonna type 46. So that way it's a little more sturdy. If we do show all and you look at that, you can see it's not aligned. So we're simply gonna select it, press L for align, choose middle and middle. And then I'm gonna do control G to group that. Now let's add our larger holes. I'm gonna bring this out and I'm gonna shift squeeze and I wanna type eight and press enter. I'm gonna make them longer so they cut through. I'll look at it from a corner. I'm gonna rotate it 45 degrees. Notice if I stay inside the circle, it does 22 and a half degrees at a time. If I do shift rotate, it automatically does the 45 degrees that I want. I'm gonna move this to the lower middle and then I'm also gonna do control D and I want to move it to the exact other side. So I'm using the shift arrow key to move it across. I'm going to flip it with the mirror tool. Notice this one turns it the way I want. I'm going to keep nudging it out till I'm exactly happy. Shift select those two and I'm going to group them. Now the reason we did that is because we can do L for a line and get them so they're exactly in the middle. Now I want to put these on every side, so I'm going to do Control D, and then I'm going to rotate them 45 degrees. Once again, if I use the inside line, it goes 22 and a half degrees. If I did the outside line, I could do Custom, or if I do Shift Rotate, it snaps to that 45 automatically. I'm going to do Control D and Control D to rotate them all the way around. Now I want to cut some more holes in here, so I'm going to go back to my original, and I'm gonna do control D. I'm gonna do control up to raise it up. I'm gonna use my arrow keys to move it to where I want it. Notice that's gonna cut in pretty neat, but they're not both in the right spot. So I'm gonna ungroup. I'm gonna bring this back. So now I can get them where I want. I will repeat the shift select and group. I'm gonna shift click on the half sphere. Do L for a line or hit a line. Make sure the sphere is the boss and add those holes right where I want them. So check it out, if I go 22 and a half degrees, it is right in the middle of the other. Now I can do control D, rotate them 22 and a half or better yet 45 degrees and do control D and that fits really slick. Friends, I'm gonna take that whole mess which looks pretty silly and I'm gonna do control G to group it and you will see that we have a pretty sweet start on our cat toy. I am going to lift it up in the air, do control D, D to drop, flip. We want to find this flip and I almost got lucky and had that aligned perfectly. I'm going to do W for work plane and set it right on that lip and D to drop. And friends, that's our cat toy. We're gonna add a ball inside and then we'll cut off the bottom so it's easier to print and we'll give it a test. So let's quickly hide this top. 
let's bring out a sphere because of cruising we can set it right on our shape and then I want to raise it up off the shape I'm gonna click on it and do control up so it goes up and then I'm gonna do F to fit view and I want to add tiny little pegs to hold it in place we're gonna do that with the cylinder as well notice that cylinder is huge I'm gonna zoom back out and shift shrink it and type 1 for the size of it let's do F for fit view and you can see we are under the shape we're gonna simply move that into place and stretch it so it touches and I'm gonna use micro nudge so I can lift it up so that it touches I want to do the same thing on the other side so I'm gonna do control D let's just move it across notice if we use cruising we can grab those edges and get it right where we want and then after this prints we'll just nudge it with our finger and it'll break those off I'm gonna do control D and make another one right over here and control D and make another one right over to the other side once again if you turn on cruising with the letter C it'll sit right on that face so you're sure that they actually connect where you want I'm gonna click on the ball and do F for fit view so we can see it all if we make this transparent we'll be able to see those connections so T for transparent as we zoom around that ball looks pretty well supported I think four of these should be plenty if you want to add more you can I'm gonna send this to my printer in just a minute so we can give it a test friends we're gonna print this on my Soval SV06 I am using Kira the first thing we need to do is find the file remember I store mine in my 3d modeling folder and there is the cat toy notice it comes in super easy I'm gonna print low quality I'm using PLA I've got two walls I've got four top and bottom layers 20% infill 260 are my temperatures and friends I am gonna turn on raft let me double check the settings for that raft though I'm gonna move up here and I'm gonna search for all the raft settings and the one that I want to change is this extra margin I only want that to be three so that it is a quicker raft but it will likely hold this in place till the finish and finally save to our removable drive eject and let's take it to the 3d printer friends about 45 minutes later we've got a cat ball notice it comes off there real easily and then that's the ball inside I'm just gonna use a pen to pry underneath and boom we have got a working cat ball how cool is that stay tuned for footage of the cats actually playing with it friends I want to take a moment to remind you about my website hlmodtech.com I have got a page dedicated to Tinkercad tons of amazing categories for you to check out day one favorites some useful starters and then finally the Tinkercad essentials finally friends down on the right there is the sweet built-in messaging tool you can click that button add your question comment or suggestion and reach me almost instantly friends I do also want to mention the link to the Tinkercad community discord as you can see we have more than 700 members and there's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad 
Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.